Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Athelion. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create rollable tables slash multi-sided tokens on Roll20. This is particularly useful when you have a player or maybe even one of your yourself playing a doppelganger as a GM and you want to have a multi-sided token like this one. Uh, when they shift forms you can just simply choose and select which form they're going to be under. Let's say this doppelganger here as an example. Uh, is going to switch into his drow form. You'll just select the drow form token like so and he switches the token. Before you begin, you'll need to make sure that you have a character sheet ready to go that you'll be assigning the token to. And then you'll head on over to the collections area right next to the configuration up in the top corner. And you'll want to go to rollable tables down below. Quick way to do it, just hit the add button It'll create a new table there, which you'll then open, and then just call it whatever you like. Um, I'm going to call mine Druid because I'm going to create Druid form um, on this table. Now that we have the name, we're going to go ahead and add the first item, which will, for me, it's going to be their normal form, whatever their humanoid form is. That's what I'm going to add here as the first token. So I'm going to go to my collection now. You can use any tokens. I'm just going to grab one real quick. And let's go with this this halfling token here. It looks like a druid. So let's go ahead and drag him over and save. This is my very first token of the table. Uh, then I'll want to add a second token. Let's go ahead and go with the first form for my druid. Now this is a circle of the moon druid, so they do they are able to turn into elementals later down the road. I already have the token here that I'm grabbing from my own personal library and just quickly dragging that over and there you go that's my second token and you kind of get the gist already just go ahead and add the rest of the tokens that you want on the table I'll go ahead and add water and the final one earth There you have it. So now we'll go ahead and just save the token or the table and go back to collections. And you'll see it there, the one that I just created. In order to bring that out into the field, you'll just select token and it'll pop up the token for you. Now, uh, what you can do next is basically set up the token however you like. You might, you might want to assign it to the character sheet that it, you're going to put it on. So I'm going to put it on the halfling rogue there. Just as an example, he's going to be a druid, not a rogue. but uh, just for the purposes of this and then just set up anything else like HP um, the AC for the character uh, any visibility dynamic lighting all of that you want to make, make sure you have that on and saved the token however you like then go back to the character sheet click on edit we're gonna remove the token that he already had and then just use the one that I'm selecting here my new one there and then save. You can tell I've already done this before but just for the purpose of this video and showing you how. Now um, if we remember in the beginning to switch forms you'll just want to go and right, right click on the token itself choose a side and then you have all the different forms here that you can select. Let's say they're switching into an earth elemental it'll switch the token to an earth elemental and then of course you'll just uh, adjust the size. They're a large creature so um, there you have it so I hope you found this uh, video useful um, if you have any further questions just feel free to ask in the comments down below and uh, yeah thanks for watching